So hello everyone, we are again back with this tutorial, the half finished numerical problem which I have been discussing. We are just, you know, just 40% into the numerical only. So the place where we left was nothing but KD equivalent finding. So what is the KD equivalent thing? We know we have from the equation, from the question, if you see that every data is given at 20 degrees centigrade. So what we have to do, we have to convert this into, that means what, convert to 28 degrees centigrade. This is what is meant by equivalent. So every value has a different value at different temperatures. So we have to find exactly what is the value of KD at 20 degrees centigrade. So let's not waste much time. And we have a equation that is Van Hoff Arrhenius equation so we have this thing kd suffix t is nothing but kd at 20 degrees centigrade into theta to the power t minus 20 this is the van of arrhenius equation for the conversion of kd where I'll tell you what theta is, what t is. t as usual, you know, for t is 20 to 30 degrees centigrade. Theta is 1.056. For t from 4 to 20 degrees centigrade, theta is 1.135. Now, as you can see, T is 28 degrees centigrade. So, T falls in this category. So, therefore, theta will be 1.056. So, just find, put theta over here. And you already know what is KD from your question. And T is also given to us. Therefore, we can have a formulation, which is, sorry, we can have a data. T at, sorry, KD at 28 degrees centigrade is nothing but KD at 20 degrees centigrade is 0.23, the deoxygenation constant. 1.056 to the power 28 minus 20. So KD at 28 degrees centigrade is nothing but 0 0.356 per day. So one factor is no, rather two factors are actually known to us. So this is one thing, this is one thing. So we have just one thing left, which is KR equivalent. So for this KR equivalent, I'll show you. So if you get these three things, you will see that from the oxygen sac curve equation, from Streeter Phillips equation, you have almost everything ready. So let us find out the KR equivalent, finding the reoxygenation constant equivalent again i'm writing convert to 28 degrees centigrade okay and this is a little bit tricky not tricky you have to have involved lots of formula so again from o'connor dobbins equation o'connor dobbins equation we have this formula kr suffix t is d naught small d naught mind you it's not the capital d naught it's small d naught to the power whole to the power one by two or whole to the power half divided by h to the power three by two now what is what are these equations okay let me write down what is u u is nothing but the mean current speed you remember engineering hydrology u factor was all about wind speed out here it is current speed and what is h h is the mean depth so these two factors are constant be it in any condition, chahi ye temperature 20 degree ho, 25 degree ho, 26 jo bhi ho, these two factors are constant. The only variant is nothing but this d naught t. So let's write down what is d naught t. 
d naught t is nothing but the molecular diffusion coefficient i'm writing a formula over here it is nothing but d naught at 20 degrees centigrade into 1.037 please take this formula very carefully note down this formula very carefully okay so d minus 20 this is nothing but molecular diffusion coefficient okay now this d not at 28 degrees centigrade is not so 20 degrees centigrade is has a, ha, having a value is 1.76 into 10 to the power minus 4 meter square per day so this is having a value so what we have to do is we have to just put this values over here or d not at 20 degrees centigrade is nothing but 1.76 into 10 to the power minus 4 into 1.037 28 minus 20 which comes down to it's 2.354 into 10 to the power minus 4 meter square per day okay now why am i doing this just see okay now these two red colored marks, one red colored mark is this one and the other red colored mark is this one. So we need these two values, one at 20 degrees centigrade and the other one at 28 degrees centigrade. Now just see the thing. We have this equation, right? We have this oconnor dobbins equation. So what we will do is, I'm writing over again, KRT is d naught t into u to the power sorry u whole to the power half divided by h t power 3 by 2 now what is k r at 28 degrees centigrade what will be this so just replace this t with 28 degrees centigrade which will be nothing but d naught at 28 degrees centigrade into u whole to the power half divided by h to the, uh, to the power 3 by 2. Now what is kr at 20 degrees centigrade which is again the same thing at 20 degrees centigrade into u to the power half by h to the power 3 by 2 isn't it? Now what we will do is we will just divide these two equations just divide these two equations this by this equal to this by this and as you can see these factors are getting omitted out because these are the same for the two equations i'm marking with a different color over here this h to the power 3 by 2 factor is also getting cancelled out so we are just left with this and this so just writing arranging this factor over here kr at 28 degrees centigrade by kr at 20 degrees centigrade is d naught at 28 degrees centigrade by d naught at 20 degrees centigrade now in the last discussion in the last thing we have just found out this isn't it this d naught things so these d naught things can be easily put over here and also from the question you know this so you know this you know this you know this can't you find out this same thing so let's find out or I'm writing over here to reduce down the space kr at 28 degrees centigrade is nothing but again oh sorry uh, it will be uh, to the power half okay this entire thing is to the power half I'm missed out on this I'm very sorry it's this factor will go over here and according to the question this is 1.15 into root of r of what is d naught at 28 degrees centigrade it's 2. 354 into 10 to the power minus 4 what can you see over here yeah divided by what is so it's 1.76 into 10 to the power minus 4 now, therefore kr at 2080 degrees centigrade is x power 
my calculation from previous notes it's this sorry I miscolored this thing so we have two equations left over here sorry three three equations no? there are three variables which needed to a conversion and we had this three almost ready with us so this is one and the other two over here this is this is one and this is one so we'll just use this three in the Streeter Phelps equation just turn back your pages and see what is Streeter Phelps equation Streeter Phelps equation okay so this Streeter Phelps equation is d is equal to kd into l naught by kr minus kd into e to the power minus kdt minus e to the power minus krt plus d naught into e to the power minus krt isn't it this is the equation so what we have over here this is the equation and now see now that the main factor is why we have done all this calculation is everything is at 28 degrees centigrade if nothing is at 20 degrees centigrade we have found out the standard values for 20 degrees centigrade but we have to convert it into 28 degrees centigrade and then we have to put it in the formula otherwise it will be a different case scenario so we just need to find this out okay now what is left we have found out what is kd kr at 28 degrees centigrade we have found out what is kd at 28 degrees centigrade over here and we have also found out what is l naught at 28 degrees centigrade I just put the values over here. and we do not have a do deficit this initial do deficit is irrespective or is irrelevant like irrespective of temperature it doesn't depend on temperature so this can be put directly so we had this we have converted each and everything into 28 degrees centigrade equivalent and we will use this directly so just this d naught factor is nothing but this initial do deficit if you go back to the curve if you go back to the oxygen serve graph which i have drawn you can see what is d naught over here over there so just replace the values individually it's 0 0.356 what is l naught l naught is over here as you can see it's 20.184 20.184 by what is k r over here 1.33 minus 0 0.356 into e to the power minus what is my kd kd is this so e to the power minus of 0 0.356 356 now we do not know what is t so t should be left untouched minus e to the power minus 1.33 into again t is left untouched plus this factors what is d naught d naught is 2 milligrams per liter so 2 into e to the power minus 1.33 into so simplify this equation what we get or D is equal to uh, I don't know how much is the simplifying factor I don't even have a calculator with me whatever it is so what is the thing is you just need to simplify this because this simplification is not happening so this is your main equation which is a governing thing okay so let me demarcate it out for you all of us all over here yeah. now your job is take a graph paper and plot the values of d as per this i'll tell you what okay make a make a table first the table looks like this so just see what i'm drawing over here so this is the first column the first column you will see what is d 
you will write what is t okay so t factors are the very factors which you will put over here and simultaneously put in the equation and get individual results suppose for example you put t something one over here so you will have a value because the only variant left is t so if you put two you will have another value you will put three you will have another value okay so if you have t so what you will get is you will get an equivalent t's over here so let us let us start with this okay if t is zero we are having a uh, one by infinity we are having everything as zero yeah no it's it's one minus one is zero yes so initial t deficit is this yeah so you will have zero over here and you increase this t factors by 0 0.25 days 0.25 okay it's better i'm telling you it's it has been experimentally dem demonstrated you can take any difference you can take 0 0.1 also the more short you take this thing i have taken a 0 0.25 interval the shorter the interval is the more accurate your result is just to save time i'm taking this okay 0 0.75 then you will have 1.00 then again you will have 1.25 and so on and so on and so, okay so do it for say around 1.5 then you have 1.75 at least do till 2 okay and what is the unit of this t it is nothing but days so till 2 days you can just give to I mean, take the iteration to so equivalently you will have all the d factors over here and then comes the graph part so you'll have one value over here okay i'm writing with a different now you will have to do this this c and what is c C is nothing but the saturation DO minus the current DO or the oxygen deficient, not current DO, it's oxygen deficient. D represents oxygen deficient, it's in milligrams per liter. So, this is in milligram per liter, and this is also in milligrams per liter. So, whatever values you will get over here. So plot this value against this time you get the point you first find out this thing for example uh, say this very thing okay let's say t is equal to 0 so what will it become e to the power 0 minus e to the power 0 is nothing but 1 minus 1 0 so this entire factor this entire factor becomes 0 and what we are left over here 2 into e to the power 0 so we will have what it's 2 isn't it it's e to the power 0 is 1 and this entire factor becomes 0 so 0 plus 2 into 1 that is nothing but 0 plus 2 that is nothing but 2. So we have, have written over here. Similarly, if you put t is equal to 0 0.25 over here, you will get another value. Now, it is not the graph against this versus this. It is the graph against this versus this. Now, what is the saturation to you? You can see the saturation value is 7.92. So what you will do is the value over here is nothing but 7.92 minus 2, which is 5.92. So this is the value against which you will plot the graph. And again, simultaneously, you will have this, 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 this. So what you will get, you will get a graph. I'm roughly demonstrating over here. You will get a graph like this. This is the T. This is the C thing. This very thing, okay? This is the T over here. And you will get a graph, something. There is a deep, and again, it will come back to this. So what you have to find is, by graph, graph you have to find this maximum deficit point and see what is the time and also in the last to last discussion in the critical time period we had a formula for tc isn't it so that is the mathematical formula so just check if your graph matches with the mathematical formula of this just put the equation from there put the equation of tc for critical time period demonstration and put all the values over here these kd values kr values all these things you will find over there and see what is the value that is only one value. Critical time is only one time. And see from the graph. Compare these two things. If it is very close to each other, that means the entire process is okay for you. So this is all about your numerical based on Streeter Phelps equation and also finding the critical time period. So if you're having any problem, no need to call me up. Just rewind these things and do it on your own once. At least once for all that. The entire problem is there over here. There's a second page also. So just concentrate. Put your focus on. It's just, you know, just for once you have to do it properly. Otherwise, it will be a huge soup thing for you, okay? 
so till then take care everyone and i'll come back again if i need to with a different topic of discussion till then have a nice time ahead and always take care goodbye